What's up everyone, Kyle here. You're watching Driving and Vibing. Today I am super excited to be doing a head-to-head -head challenge between cell boosters. We'll be putting our longtime WeBoost cell booster up to the challenge of the brand new SureCall cell booster, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're putting out five videos every week about RV life, both educational and fun. Never a shortage of content. Today is no different because we'll be diving deep into a head-to-head -head challenge of cell boosters. Now quickly, if you don't know what a cell booster is, pretty much it finds a cellular signal like what you use on your cell phone for data or voice calls and it will amplify and boost that signal to you. So if you're in an area where you're receiving one bar in poor connectivity, the cell booster can potentially bump that up to where you're receiving many bars and have no problem of making a phone call. So what we'll be going over in this video is comparing our Weboost cell booster to the brand new SureCall cell booster. We'll compare the price, we'll look over the specs and compare those, and then we'll dive into a field challenge where we measure how boosted each signal is and how much the speed of data increases from both of those boosts. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. y'all so here are some very basic and upfront specs for both units if you are a nerd about this kind of stuff we aren't going to be diving into the nerdy stuff that will go over so many people's heads including my own if you want to find out that nerdy info check out mobile internet resource center we'll link that below they have everything you want to nerd out on but for us first off we'll just compare the max boost that both of these units offer and as you can see here both the sure call and the we boost offer a 50 decibel max max signal boost for both of these RV units we're comparing today. That is very standard among these boosters because that is the regulation on how much can be allowed to be boosted for these mobile boosters. Next up, we'll look at these dimensions for both the products. They are almost identical in dimension. The sure call, we're looking at 5.6 by 4 by 1.125, and the Wii Boost is 6.25 by 4.5 by 1. Both the units very comparable to each other. And the weight is something that kind of threw me off. Whenever I took the sure call out of the box, it felt substantially heavier than the Wii Boost. Both of the units are lightweight, but you can see here the sure call comes in measuring double what the Wii Boost does at 1.43 pounds. The Wii Boost booster is 0.77 pounds. Now this is the weight of the boosting mechanisms. It doesn't include the exterior or interior antenna in that weight. And what most people want to know is the price difference. So here you can see the sure call is priced beneath the Wii Boost. So by price alone, you can see the sure call is winning this category and being the more economical choice. But will we see something different in the boosts? That is yet to be determined. We'll find out in just a few minutes. Now let's go over piece by piece what both of these boosters look like compared to each other. This is the main sure call boosting station. This is where all the action is done as far as boosting that outside signal and making it bigger for your interior cellular signal and like I said as far as the weight goes it definitely feels more substantial than the Wii Boost. It feels like it's made out of metal. I think it is made out of metal so that's probably what's giving it this weight. Now coming in much lighter weight is this Wii Boost boosting station. Uh, it's made of a plastic exterior and it only has one light on the front of it unlike the sure call so this is just showing if it's on or off or if it's receiving or if there's an error or not unlike the sure call which shows you each individual cellular band and if that is receiving the boost or not so those are the two differences between the boosters but you can see here very similar to each other tops bottoms for interior exterior antennas I don't see any advantage on either of these as far as um, the size, the shape, the material. Kind of a preference thing if you want uh, the metal or the plastic. I don't see much difference at all with these two just boosting devices as far as the way they feel, the way they look, and the way they'll install in an RV. All right, y'all, now we'll move on to the exterior antennas. 
So the exterior antennas are the larger antennas that are pulling the signal from the cell tower and capturing that so then it can be brought to that boosting device that I just showed you. Behind me here, you can see the WeBoost cell booster we're using. Now, WeBoost has a few different exterior antenna options. They do make a sleek white booster for the RV that blends in much better, but we chose to go with this OTR booster just because it sits higher above our AC unit. There's not really much difference in between the RV model and the OTR model, except this one allows us to get a little higher on our rig. Just because our rig is short, we wanted that extra elevation. This is what the Surecall booster looks like. Now, it is gonna be a strong mechanism in here that is pulling the signal, like I said, from the cell towers and putting it to your booster and then inside the RV. This looks sleek. It's about the same size as the OTR, just without that stem on the bottom of it. So I think we'll still be able to pick up a very good signal with this. And depending on what your preference is, if you like the bulkiness and you know the tallness of this OTR one, uh, you know it doesn't look as sleek. But both WeBoost and, as you see here, Surecall make a version that looks very sleek, very white. So again, no advantage, in my opinion, on the exterior antennas because the option to have the RV antenna that looks almost identical to each other with both brands is is right there it exists you know so you'll have a sleek option for your RV so it won't look obtrusive and uh, I say again yeah it is an even playing field so far as far as the external antenna goes. All right, and now the last component of both boosters is the interior antenna. And again, like the exterior antenna, many options exist for this. We're comparing the RV units today, which with both RV units, they come with a larger antenna to spread the length of the RV. But because we're focusing on the actual boost itself and the actual gain of speeds itself, we're not gonna be using the, the RV interior antenna today. We're gonna be using both of these smaller antennas that we can place directly on the hotspot that we're measuring. I want the test to be as accurate as possible and as fair as possible. So we'll be using the branded interior antennas that are flat for both of these tests. This is the Surecall unit. This is the WeBoost unit. You can see the WeBoost is a little taller. The Surecall is a little fatter. They should both work very well to give us an accurate description of what the actual booster is doing as far as the um, increase of signal and the increase of data speeds. But both of these companies make different interior antennas depending on what your needs are and those are included in the RV package of both of these brands. So if you want a bigger antenna that can span a bigger space inside your RV, both brands have you covered. We're using this today for accuracy of testing though. So now that we went over the price, the specs, and the pieces, let's set these suckers up and go for the field test. All right, y'all, so I set up the Surecall next to the WeBoost. I got them as close together as possible so I can get as even testing as possible. But keep in mind, this is not a scientific test and know that across the country, cellular data and cellular connectivity varies so greatly. It varies tower by tower. This is just one of over a thousand towers we could be connected to. So even if the reading here benefits one or the other, that's not necessarily how it's gonna be throughout the country. But we can still get a good head-to-head -head comparison with the scenarios we're working with today. We'll be boosting our AT&T hotspot, our T-Mobile hotspot, and our AT&T cell phones. First, let's do the AT&T hotspot. What we're looking at here, unboosted, is a 101 decibel reading. That's all right, as you can see, it me it's showing up as three bars. So, you know, three bars is pretty good. Uh, but the thing that's great about this unboosted signal is we're receiving extremely fast data speeds. We're getting 29 download and we're getting 22 upload with speeds this fast any booster, I don't care which one it is, won't increase the performance that much on those speeds, if at all, because they're already really capping out at where the tower is gonna allow. So, I'm not expecting to see great gains with the data speeds right now. What I am hoping to see is that decibel signal strength in the bar reading, so I'll have very clear calls that will not drop. 
So first off, we will try the Sure Call booster and see what we're working with. So I simply flipped the Sure Call booster on and within seconds, I'm seeing an improvement. I'm seeing a negative 85 decibel reading. So that increased the decibels by about 15, 16 decibels and it made it four bars of cellular connectivity, what we're working with there. So that's a great um, improvement. I guess that's probably, what are we working with? Maybe a 15% improvement or something like that. And as you can see here, the download speed pretty much stayed the exact same. So the Sure Call Booster definitely made a difference in this scenario. So now I just turned on the Weeboo Cell Booster, turned off the Sure Call, and what we found was a negative 74 decibel reading. That is 10 decibels better than the Sure Call. So we see an improvement here in this scenario with our AT&T hotspot. The Weeboo Booster has already started working better than the Sure Call as far as the decibel level goes. Uh, full bars is what we're showing on the bar reading, and then set the same download speeds as the Sure Call. Nothing really happened there, but the upload speed increased big time we're looking at 29 up i mean that's great that is great for uploading videos i'm gonna upload a video uh you know i think at least probably double or a third more quickly than unboosted and even still more quickly than if the sure call was turned on so with the at&t hotspot it looks like we boost took the lead on this one now let's try the t-mobile hotspot all right so i got my t-mobile hotspot rolling in bad news for t-mobile users out there because i am not receiving any signal at all unboosted the t-mobile hotspot is essentially a paperweight unboosted boosted right now. Whenever I flipped on the sure call booster, again, no signal whatsoever. Paperweight, that's all this hotspot is good for. So that is not good for T-Mobile. Fortunately, when I turned on the Wii Boost, I was able to get one bar of 4G with the T-Mobile hotspot. This is, uh, you know, this is very good because if you're going from no signal to one bar, that can make a big difference. But sadly enough to say, even with that one bar measuring negative 114 decibels, I was unable to use it for anything. I was not even able to load the speed testing website to see how fast the speeds were because it just wouldn't process any information quick enough. So even though the WeBoost was able to get me a signal on the T-Mobile hotspot, it is essentially still a paperweight because I couldn't do anything with it. Last test coming up right now, and that is our cell phones. All right, so I got my AT&T cell phone right here. Now unboosted, I'm getting 21 down, 30, I'm getting 21 down, 3.7 up, and let's see, uh, this is just one bar. So I didn't measure the decibels with the cell phone, but one bar, 21 down, three up, uh, good enough for me to use for sure good enough for me to use and good data speeds as well But not necessarily great for making a call. Uh, there's potential to lose a call with this type of service Whenever I turned on the sure call I'm still working with about the same download speeds. I slightly increased the upload speed to 5.5 So that's great and that is like I said earlier a common trait even if you're getting good data speeds these boosters can often bump up that upload speed and it says I got full bars of coverage so that's great uh, not a drop call you know this is gonna be a clear signal when speaking so definitely the sure call showed me signs of great improvement with both upload speed and the um, signal strength and whenever I plugged in the Wii boost what I saw was same download speeds and very same upload speeds to the sure call. So with the cell phone, uh, it did not bump up the upload speeds anymore with the, um, compared to the sure call. The Weeboost and the sure call were the same. I'm getting five bars of cell um, coverage. So on this last test with just the cell phones, the sure call and the Weeboost were pretty much right on par with each other. So uh, no winner for this round. Both the Weeboost and the sure call performed equally and they both perform better than an unboosted signal. Let's wrap it up now. I have to say the best part about the Sure Call and what I love about it is the price. There is savings there in the Sure Call, but the Sure Call unfortunately did not test as well as the WeBoost did in this scenario. There are chances that it could perform better than the WeBoost across the country, but today in this head-to-head, -head, I have to say the WeBoost did perform better. And full disclosure, both WeBoost and SureCall 
gave us these boosters free to test. We didn't preference any in this testing and we showed you guys all the numbers because we want you to make up your mind of what you think is a better value or more worth it as far as a cell booster goes. But we do have a history with using a WeBoost. We've been using that for two years. We've been partnering up with WeBoost for two years and the Sure Call is a new thing we've been introduced to recently and we don't have the history with Sure Call but we really like the potential of Sure Call as far as the pricing goes and the performance compared to that pricing. Both companies have benefits. Make up your own mind. We want to provide you the data and the information. Please share your experience with boosters below, no matter what company they're with. If they're with WeBoost, SureCall, or another company out there, let us know your experience. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.